Orgasms are often thought of as a purely physical sensation. And while they are felt in the body, they're actually happening in your mind as well. In our previous video, we talked about some psychological facts that are connected to orgasms. And since you liked this topic, we'd like to let you know about four more psychological secrets that show orgasms are a mental game. Let's explore. A tear or two. If you've ever reached an orgasm, you probably know about those feelings of relaxation, pleasure, and elation that follow some great sex or solo session. But did you know that instead of pure happiness, orgasms can sometimes lead to tears? Crying after sex is not something you'd see in rom-coms or porn, but it's actually quite common and perfectly normal. According to sex therapists, there are a few reasons why this happens. Getting teary-eyed after orgasm may be due to a sense of euphoria from releasing built-up emotional tension. It could also be a sign of a condition called postcoital dysphoria, a low mood that comes after sex. Even if it was great, this low mood might be triggered by the release of oxytocin, which is known as a love hormone. It might seem paradoxical since this hormone should make you feel connected to your partner, but researchers believe that in some people, it can cause feelings of anxiety and fear. This is especially true for those who had uncomfortable or even traumatic sexual experiences. So even if it seems confusing at the moment, you don't have to worry about shedding a tear or two after reaching an orgasm. But if sex often makes you feel uneasy, and if crying happens more often than you'd like, it might be a good idea to talk to a therapist to see if there are some bottled up emotions that are blocking you from having a good time. Odd sensations. The tearing up after sex is not the only surprise that follows climaxing. In one study, psychologists examined some rare and unusual post-orgasmic sensations. They found that people can experience a wide range of reactions from weakness to headaches and sneezing. Some individuals reported strange symptoms like facial pain or even foot pain. There were also cases of panic attacks and something called post-orgasm illness syndrome, which can make you feel sick right after reaching an orgasm. Authors of the study mentioned an interesting story of one woman who wrote to a romance help column, complaining that her boyfriend sometimes laughed during orgasm, which made her feel confused and frustrated. Also, some people have reported experiencing extended orgasms that lead to altered states of consciousness or hallucinations. These included sensations of flying, feeling like they're in a dream, or even seeing vibrant colors and lights. A few women described the experience as stepping into a cartoon world or traveling through beautiful landscapes like forests and gardens. Who would have thought that a simple orgasm could lead to such a mix of strange and surprising feelings? Three, I can see clearly now. Have you ever heard of something called post-nut clarity? People who experience this describe it as a fascinating moment of enlightenment that kicks in after doing the deed. One moment you're enjoying yourself and the next you're lost in a thought spiral pondering the meaning of life. While this isn't a medical term, there are some possible scientific reasons for why it happens. During sex, several different areas of the brain responsible for pleasure, sensation, reward, and emotions are all engaged. However, one specific area called the prefrontal cortex which handles decision-making, attention, and thinking, experiences a decrease in blood flow during ejaculation. Then after orgasm, the blood flow returns to this area, possibly causing a sense of clarity to your thoughts. So that sudden moment of deep thinking after orgasm might just be your brain getting back to its normal state. Four, false beliefs. And finally, we can't talk about sex without mentioning pornography. Do you think that porn shows the real deal when it comes to orgasms? Uh, unfortunately, not so much. In a recent study, researchers analyzed 50 most popular videos on a well-known pornographic site. They discovered that only 18% of women were shown having an orgasm compared to 78% of men. This big difference shows how porn often focuses on male pleasure, while female orgasms take the back seat. These unrealistic portrayals can shape your beliefs and expectations about sex, leading you to think that male pleasure is the main goal and easily achieved, while female pleasure comes second or not at all. Such misconceptions can lead to disappointment and frustration in real life sexual experiences, leaving you feeling unsatisfied and misunderstood in the bedroom. 
That's why sex ed that focuses on realistic experiences is so important. No matter if you're sexually active or still waiting for the right one, being aware of how sex actually looks could help you and your partner have a great time without disappointments. We hope you learned something new and valuable from this video. Do you think that this topic is still a taboo and should be talked about more? If so, let us know in the comments if you have some questions about sexuality. And meanwhile, take a look at our previous videos where we cover some red flags in sex, the connection between sex and mental health, and how pornography impacts your brain. Thanks for watching and take care.